everyone. So if you hear me nice and good, give me a hi. Someone give me a hi, hello. Hello. Can everyone hear me? Okay, great. So welcome everyone to this amazing, amazing webinar. We are gonna do, uh, just give me a minute to, yeah. So my name is Nazish and on behalf of the platform of Illuminations, uh, I am doing this webinar today, which is uh, on the topic of chakra activation for empaths. So you must know that I have, uh, uh, like some of you must have attended some of my uh, previous talks about being an empath and what it means, how it affects you, uh, what, uh, what are the implications, uh, et cetera, et cetera. A few people are joining in and it's popping up a lot on my screen. So, <laughs> I'm gonna give it a minute until people are just popping. I'm gonna ask all the people who are with me and who can hear me nice and clear to simply just close your eyes. Close your eyes and uh, rest your hands on your, on your lap. You can place it in a mudra like this, like the chin mudra where the thumb and index finger is touching and gently resting your hands on your lap. We are going to do a collective breath work, collective focus, concentration. So with your eyes comfortably closed, focus on your breath. Become aware of your breathing in, breathing out. And as you breathe in and you breathe out, you are allowing yourself to relax. Letting go of any stress, any tension, anywhere in your body with each breath out. Feel your breath touching all the way down to your belly as you breathe in. Now all the people who have joined this live are now breathing together, in and out, in and out. Imagine we are in fact sitting together, perhaps in a circle, holding hands. Connecting with each other. And today we are going to make good wishes for each other. So in this gathering, every person is wishing well for someone else. Not for yourself, but someone else. 
sitting down and literally sending happy thoughts to other people, wishing them well, wishing them peace, joy, success. And that's great. You can open your eyes. Still feel as if you are in the circle. So, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me to send happy thoughts out. Uh, so, I'm going to start this now with a brief introduction on uh, why I'm doing this topic. So, I have come up with a seven week program for chakra activation for empaths. Uh, this seven week program, each week will be dedicated to one chakra. There's going to be a two hour Zoom call once a week and there's going to be a WhatsApp group. Uh, in that WhatsApp group, there's going to be daily activities on uh, the chakra uh, which we are working on. So let's say we are going to start with root chakra. So uh, in, the, in the first week, uh, the first two hour Zoom call is going to be about uh, the introduction to root chakra, what it means, what is uh, what blocks it, uh, what unblocks it. So once we have uh, once we have explored it well, we are going to do a deep chakra activation meditation together on the Zoom and. Uh, after the chakra activation meditation, you are asked to like engage in uh, activities which are going to be focused on just that chakra. So week long, there's going to be uh, different uh, techniques, different activities that I will be sending you on the WhatsApp, which uh, will be which we which you will be needing to do so that you can uh, open an activity of chakras uh, specifically for empaths. So it's not just something generic. So first we will start with general techniques of chakras, but then it's going to get specific somewhere in the uh, middle of the week. I'm going to send techniques which are only specific for empaths. So like that, we are going to progress to seven chakras in seven weeks. And uh, the whole process is designed to cleanse you, to open and activate your chakras and uh, to make sure that uh, you are completely in tune with what kind of empath abilities you have and uh, how you can uh, work with these empath uh, em empathy abilities in your daily life uh, being uh, not just an issue but a superpower something that can be uh, something that can be the very codes of success for you in your life in, in whichever area of life that you are seeking it so yeah that's the plan and today's talk is more or less about understanding uh, what uh, what what i am trying to uh, get here why uh, chakra activation for empaths? Uh, why not for everyone? So uh, I have uh, this tendency to attract uh, people in my classes and as my clients uh, who are very gifted. So uh, it's the law of attraction. So people who are ready to like open up their powers, ready to open up their potential. Uh, those kind of people come a lot to me. And uh, I understood that uh, doing it uh, on a group level could be my contribution. And uh, that's why I decided to do this. And uh, being an empath is something which is uh, going to stay with us for, for as a day in our daily lives for years to come. We can't shut it off because it's, 
it's an ability it will be stupid to shut it off so how to unlock the specific uh, codes how to unlock the right energies to be an empath with all its glory is what it's all about so okay back up a little bit um so far any questions and so i guess you'll have to type your questions uh, over here so if you if at any point you feel like you need to ask a question just type it away uh right so coming back to empath so some of my previous talks have explored this topic really well and if you go on facebook uh, if you go on facebook you will be able to uh, get hold of those topics through illuminations page and uh, and check for the topics called empaths uh, spiritual cleansing for empath daily daily life rituals for empaths etc uh, so a person who is an empath is basically a person who is more aware the per this person's abilities is more uh, stronger so they are able to perceive uh, more than normal people so uh, an empath has the ability to stand in another person's universe and and understand what's happening there so i'm i'm going to come to questions in a while but you can keep typing uh, so yeah an empath is a person who's going to be able to perceive other people's energy you can perceive a person's energy you can perceive the energy of a space so it could be an office a house that you're trying to buy a land you could perceive the energy of a pet you could perceive the energy of a tree you, you, the ability of an empath is to basically stand wherever so where, wherever you put your focus you can basically perceive those uh, you know the information so let's say i am meeting someone uh, for a business deal and when i'm uh, or or i'm dating someone for example and i'm meeting someone for on on this date and uh, we are getting to know each other and uh, how would i decide that uh, this person is right maybe i can like go more out to this person or whether this business deal is right should i invest in this company how would i decide that so uh, for a lot of people they would do uh, what they will do is they will probably like ask for advice do a lot more research they are going to like uh, go around checking external factors now i'm not saying that you should not do that but uh, an empath is going to rely on a, a stronger resource and that is their own ability to understand things so an empath is actually a very psychic being so this person can meet someone and then understand okay how much farther i can go with this deal or this person uh, what are the risks they can calculate the risks they can uh, and all of this information will be available to an empath so for all of you who have very strong gut feeling might already know what i'm talking about that you would meet a person and within let's say few minutes of that meeting you would know what's what's going on uh, and if you enhance the skill a lot you could know uh, even before you have met this person so let's say i have decided 7 pm tonight uh, i am going to meet this person but by 5 pm already i have tapped into their energy and i already know uh, what 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 kind of person i'm meeting before i'm meeting so some people can even become that good with any gift that we have it's all about how we sharpen it how we work with it how much we honor it so a lot of empaths become overwhelmed for them it's very hard to uh to to make sense of this gift because a lot of times it's very muddled in your own mind so where, where what my emotions are and what someone else's emotion is could be a very confusing mind field because nobody teaches this stuff in schools so we are all like have to rely on our resources and if we are gifted with parents or someone around us who knows this stuff they can teach us for me it was a lot of soul searching which 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 helped and then you know tons of books and courses on self healing for years so uh, uh i can i can give you shortcuts <laughs> so yeah the idea is that uh, the whole point is that you become uh, you be, you become so clear first of all is having clear energy helps so that i'm not always so muddled and foggy in my space that i don't know which my, which energy is mine which is someone else's so that uh, uh, coupled with uh, practical skills and techniques to uh, identify what other person's energy is like to read to understand and then to 
slowly come into an understanding of oh okay i am reading into this i am reading into that so this is what it means this is what it means for me etc so yeah that's the that's the concept uh, there are quite a few questions i'm just going to quickly go and check so how do you identify what chakras are blocked and unblocked uh, there are many ways to identify some people will do a pendulum check to uh, to check uh, which chakras are blocked and unblocked uh, the other ways to do it is to also look at different areas of your life so let's say if you are having difficulties with money most probably root chakra has issue if you are having difficulty with trust most probably third eye chakra has issue if you are having difficulty with love power so what area of life is like you know where you are struggling at could be a good indicator of which chakra is blocked uh, what happens when we activate the chakra so activating opening cleansing the chakras is going to make you have a more fulfilling life uh, overall you are going to be uh, very very open to receive uh, all the good stuff that the life has to give you um, i do not teach reiki online all my reiki courses are offline you have to come meet me so how can i use stone amethyst to clear my chakras you can meditate with your stone amethyst to clear your chakras uh, what can i do to enhance this gift of being an empath are there any tools that i can use to clear which is my energy so uh, the gift that you can activate uh, or the uh, you you already are an empath so uh, what you have to do is you have to identify what kind of empath are you what kind of information are you picking what kind of information uh, is like you know uh, is hard for you so for example for me uh, for example for me i am good at reading somebody's energy but if you ask me to predict i sort of don't do that i don't go into future i am so in my present that i don't go much in future so i believe rather than reading something in future you can create something in future so i uh, so that's why i don't do uh, future readings for people uh, i do guidance reading so i can read a person's energy and i can uh, tell them that this is where you are you are you are leading right now energetically but you can change it this 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 way so that's that's something that there so some people though are very good and gifted at uh, reading future then there are other empaths who are very good at just uh, perceiving energies there are other empaths who are just simply amazing at uh, visual so they are just able to see a lot so there are so many types there are empaths who will feel things in their body there are empaths who will feel things uh, in their thoughts who will read information through thoughts there are empaths who are going to uh, be very very visual there are clear at audient empaths so they are going to be able to listen to they they have this ability to to hear uh, uh, thoughts as well so what exactly are your gifts uh, we will have to explore it through these uh, seven weeks program uh, uh, you know it's a, it's is the process is to like open up to who you truly are and uh, be that person uh, fully you know in a successful way so so far uh, a lot of people who are an empath have uh ended up picking up a lot of other people's energy so if you are an empath and you are not understanding what this is all about you would have picked up a lot of other people's energy so a lot of things that are going off in your life is probably because of other people's energies that you know you took too much you took too much you took too much and you have no idea now how much is you and how much is not so a lot is coming from other places uh in fact uh, it's truth because when we are when we are born and when we are getting raised in our families and stuff we take on without even questioning like how many kids have actually questioned their parents and said hey why this religion <laughs> why 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 this religion why not something else we don't do that like whatever parents say at until a certain age we just uh, we just take on we just take on until uh, a point comes where we start reasoning as well so then we take on from society we are taking up from social norms uh, we are uh, we are also picking information from our ancestors so let's say uh, i come from an ancestry for example where all the women have suffered and let's say i'm suffering and then i don't know what's happening why am i suffering i'm going to say okay this is just my fate that's why i'm suffering but maybe it's an ancestral imprint and uh, advanced empathy means you will have to identify uh slowly where something comes from 
and then fix it so that's how it works yeah uh, now I'm gonna check for any further questions you guys can all type questions uh, online consultations are offered yes uh, so the techniques to do uh, the techniques to clear your energy and shield your energy is all covered uh, as a part of the seven week program uh, the technique is something which is not going to be one chakra based so it's not a one thing that I can give you and it's done but we are going to do some healing today as well uh, okay so uh, while uh, we are at it I'm just going to ask you quickly to close your eyes and we are going to do some energy cleanse we are going to do some energy cleanse together so just once again close your eyes Bring your hands in the in the chin mudra where your fingers and thumbs are touching. Once again, focus on your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. Allowing yourself to relax. Imagine yourself back in that beautiful circle holding hands with each other. So we are doing this life together and we are holding each other's hands in energy. You're sitting in this big circle. Now imagine that we are indeed sitting on Mother Earth, so perhaps on a mountain or in a garden, on the grass. Everybody is holding hands, sitting on Mother Earth under the clear blue sky. And as we are breathing in, breathing out, feel as if we are releasing unwanted, negative, lower energies into Mother Earth. So in the form of light, color or vibration, we are sending all the lower energies down to Mother Earth. Just how, imagine how we sweat and how that sweat moves down. Just like that, you're sending negative lower energies down. Other people's energies, other beings' energies. Mother Earth has the ability to take lower negative energies and convert it into light. We are simply letting go. Everything into earth. Deeper and deeper it goes.
holding hands, breathing. Okay, so slowly come back. Open your eyes. And welcome back. So one of your best friends as an empath is nature. You can spend time in mother nature and intend to clear uh, all the stuff that you picked up and then imagine it all moving down and not just taking it all and just keep releasing uh, whatever is relevant will clear through earth there are certain things which can't go in earth because they need to go to other places there are many other places where we send energies to so Earth is one of the most amazing ones, uh, by the way, but there are others. So we make use of lights, uh, different color fires. There's, uh, there's, there's chantings. There's some chantings which are very powerful to, to uh, help the release process. Uh, there is uh, some visualizations. So... We, there are many ways in which uh, we do energy cleanses and uh, every chakra is going to help and support you in the, in the process. For example, root chakra is all about being in the here and now. So being in the present moment. So root chakra is going to keep you grounded. It's going to keep you so authentically in the present moment that uh, your mind doesn't drift to so many places that you don't even know what's entering your energy field. So if your root chakra is strong, even if a drop of other puzzles, person's energy is coming, you're going to become aware of it. Uh, when sacral chakra is working fine uh, for an empath, it would mean um, that the person is always in flow. So there's no, they, they do not have the stuck energy phases. So they're always in flow. Their entire energy field is very flowy and there's so much of sacredness and purity about you that you would not buy into uh, anything negative, guilt-based, uh, anything which is perverted or heavy. It won't come inside very easily. When uh, solar plexus chakra is going to work fine for an empath, this person is going to know how to stay in their power and uh, have so much wisdom and you will, your energy body will be such that anything that tries to come in will deflect back it wouldn't be able to go inside it's so it's so you, you'll become so powerful in your own energy field uh, when heart chakra for an empath is going to be working fine uh, you're going to operate with a lot of love and compassion so you will learn how to how to feel love and compassion for yourself you will learn how to feel love and compassion for the universe so this energy can then transform and become light and you become so, so calming and you become so loving that negative vibes again can't come inside so easily. So you will be, you will be your own master, like you are learning to become your own master. So with each chakra, there are different, uh, different uh, ways in which uh, the activations will happen, in which uh, the perceptions will open. And in each chakra, there's going to be uh, a few things that will that that will be taken care of. So one of the first things that needs to be done is uh, is space cleansings. 
so the first uh, uh, week the first meditation itself is going to focus a lot on space cleansing and rooting what it means to be rooted what it means to be grounded what it means to be in the year and now so it's uh, it, the whole practices and exercises are going to depend on that like are going to go in and around that factor so a powerful root chakra is one of the strongest foundations that will help us to go beyond to higher chakras by the time when we come to the higher chakra which is the throat third eye and crown uh things are going to be very different so you would have moved from your normal uh, you know place of uh, where you are always picking up stuff where you are always like sticky energies are there random aches and pains or or un unnecessary mood swings so you will move from that place already so if you would have done all the exercises and you are moving properly with us uh, you are going to be very very well at what you do so the cleansings are going to be part of each chakra there are different uh, cleansings required for different chakras and we are going to do it uh, uh, do it thoroughly uh, any questions so far by the way any doubts questions chakra energy reiki energy etc only believe or there are scientific proves that these images existed and are beneficial or harmful so chakra energy doesn't make sense <laughs> that word together doesn't make sense chakras though yes um, so i'll come to reiki in a while so basically what chakra is um, so chakra word uh, is a sanskrit word which means wheels so these are like spinning vortexes of energy that are found in the they are everywhere in the body there are not just seven major chakras they are everywhere in the body so there is ne chakra there is like tiny tiny chakras thousands of chakras in our body and they interlink and intersect in the center alignment which forms the seven major chakras so uh, interestingly uh, the chakra theory comes from vedas and uh, vedas are books which were which which were written like tens like thousands of years back so this these are like old scriptures written in sanskrit and uh, yoga as a science was developed to uh, activate chakras uh, so uh, but now that we see modern science we understand that uh, wherever these chakra locations are uh, you know the endocrine system of human body so there are these things called endocrine glands so there's pineal so, uh, sorry pituitary pituitary pineal thyroid there's a thymus here then uh, there are adrenals then uh, there are sexual glands so and there's pancreas liver spleen so these these glands are interestingly uh, located on all the places where we call upon these chakras so all these different chakras are basically uh, you know maybe they are understanding of endocrine gland endocrine system of the human body so these glands are so important that if one malfunctions your entire body can have issues so let's say if somebody has issues with uh, uh issues with thyroid gland so they will have a lot of trouble with metabolism if uh, pineal gland has issue they will have issues with sleeping so these are like you know old ways in which people used to probably see the glands now when we talk about chakras it's all about the spiritual aspects of these chakras but earlier everything was combined so there would be yoga poses there is dietary changes there is meditations there are chantings all were combined now we only talk about uh, basically like okay uh, the psychological aspects uh, when it comes to reiki and other modes of healing because modern science is like you know super awesome uh, they have like uh, done brain um, they take the brain scans and stuff to check which brain waves are we using when we are doing these healing techniques so they have identified that when a person is doing reiki uh, alpha brain waves are uh, get so the brain waves slow down to alpha or theta so these are the brain waves where the person has become meditative in nature so when you go into alpha theta brain wave state your mind is like relaxed and you're very meditative and in that point you're not sitting and figuring things out and calculating everything just becomes relaxed and an auto healing starts you know so whenever you go to a doctor and say okay i'm having this 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 problem one of the suggestions they give is don't take stress so the very nature of alpha and theta brain waves 
is the opposite of what stress is. Yeah. So the stress ones are like, um, if I think it's gamma, if I'm not mistaken. So it's like, you know, the brain waves are very fast. So when the brain waves are slowed down, you are so relaxed, you're so calm, there's no stress that you are now uh, in a very nice state of mind where the body is now going to heal itself. So uh, body knows how to heal itself pretty much. We just need to use uh, certain brainwave states and these healing techniques, whether it is Reiki, whether it is meditation, whether it is other techniques like uh, sound or hypnotherapy or theta healing, they're all using the same you know, formula. It's the way in which we can slow down the brain waves and then start to like activate the healing. So yeah, there are a lot of researches and proofs about it, going about it. So um, when we release the negative energies from body and mind, you said that some of them, the earth takes and converts them into light while others are put somewhere else. Where are these negative energies stored or converted? So negative energies are stored. Uh, basically, everything is, energy is basically a movement, like, you know, something that keeps moving. So if I resonate with something, then that energy will come. So if like, you know, beliefs play a major role in this. So if I believe that uh, uh, the world is after me, everybody wants to hurt me, everybody wants to cause me harm, people can't be trusted, then I am giving out a lot of negative energies in form of mistrust, in form of fear. I'm so afraid that, you know, somebody will come and hurt me, something bad can happen to me. So I'm giving out those kind of vibes and that is how negative energy is in a way created, you know, by this, by these techniques, by, by, by really negative techniques. So, uh, they get stored. Uh, so let's say, uh, I am in this fear and I go and meet a friend and this friend has a similar issue. She also has a lot of fears in life. So I will end up sometimes giving that energy to that person. So, the uh, the thing is that my own negative energy is not less but then i have also added on to other person's negativity so that's how it is and sometimes i may take that person's negativity too so it's like a radio signal where all these frequencies are matching so if the beliefs are there if there are like you know certain beliefs tendencies in me i'm going to pick out the, the 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 vibrations associated with it so if i vibrate with love if I vibrate with oneness, if I vibrate with compassion, or if I vibrate with power, then I will attract those kind of energies in my energy field. So the negative would not come. So the idea is to clear and transmute. Transmute means convert into light. So if I overcome my fear-based tendencies, then I will not attract fear-based energies. So then that fear-based problem will not happen in my life because there's no law of attraction now fear-based problems i have already overcome my fear for example yeah so that's how it is any other questions okay so meanwhile there are other places where we uh, where we clear energies too uh, as i said and uh, some of the work requires uh, change in belief some of the work requires sometimes it's very difficult to know where certain energies have come from because, for example, let's say when I was, example, yeah, uh, let's say I'm a baby in my mother's womb and my mom is going through depression. And when I'm born, since I'm a kid, the depression is with me because I took it from my mother because I thought this is one of the energies I have to have as, uh, you know, in this life. And then I never questioned. I was like, okay, I'm living with it. It's, I'm sad. I'm sad all the time, but that's just how I am how many times do we sit and ask why i mean is there another way is there so we have identified with certain emotions and energies and tendencies so much that we do not see ourselves without it so that's why we are becoming when we are becoming more aware these things which we think is me starts to clear layers after layers after layers are peeled off so when you are peeling off these layers you are, ident you are finding out that you are this beautiful person who's full of love, who is not afraid uh, of anyone or anything, and who knows that good things can come if you, are, if you call it, if you, by just being aware and, and in a receiving mode, you can attract good stuff. So you become aware of those things, by the way. Just a second.
we can do a small awareness uh, exercise now just just to prove uh, like you know to try to demonstrate what i mean so i'm gonna ask you to bring your hands like this in this pose so connecting all your fingers together uh, and the two tiny fingers are like this yeah bring your hands like this and close your eyes Focus on your breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, focus all the way down to the base of your spine. Breathing out. Focus up to your top of your head. And as you're breathing in, breathing out, and your hands are in a mudra, slowly become aware of your physical body. Does your body feel heavy or light? Is it hot or cold? Focus more on your physical body to notice if there are any areas where you feel discomfort. Pain. Now notice any emotions that you feel in this body. At any given time, there are so many emotions inside our body. What all can you connect with? What all can you perceive? How many of these things are you aware of on your daily life? This body in which you live in, your soul chose this vehicle for your ascension. This body came with full awareness to help you on your spiritual path as a human to help you ascend. Everything that you ever need as a human 
this body makes it available for you it gives you everything you want on this physical plane it carries a lot of miracles codes activations that if they are activated would blow your mind take a few moments now as you are in that mode to love and appreciate your body to say thank you body i love you so much you're so awesome there may be diseases issues things in the body that are not in alignment with light and love you simply give it an acknowledgement and say i'm going to be back to heal you for now i give you love okay come back to me open your eyes release your mudras hmm how does that feel okay so somebody asked a question how can we bring ourselves to receiving mode it's a nice question i love it uh, i must be teaching myself to be in receiving mode since many years so uh, being human one of the one of our greatest capacities is receiving uh, the breath that we breathe is free <laughs> uh, the food that we eat technically is free because you, you really don't want to pay uh, you really not paying mother earth <laughs> who's providing you the food you paying services to each other but uh, can you pay money and like you know ask the mud the earth to like grow you food it doesn't work like that it just gives it to you for free correct um if you truly love someone that's for free you don't really charge so uh, just to make myself clear love is absolutely for free relationships are conditional so yeah uh, all the best things are for free i guess uh and all we have to do is just allow ourselves to receive that open ourselves open our capacity to receive it but being humans and uh, having all these conditions set uh while we were growing up um uh, it's like oh if you want to have uh this uh, this this particular gift you have to bring this much of grades or if you want to do this you bring this so it's basically like the way we are trained is that you have to deserve something to receive it which is number one lie of 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 our times i guess because no it's not true uh, think of all the people who have it all <laughs> and you will know it's not true so uh basically deserving doesn't have anything to do with receiving but we have attached it and we have made ourselves uh, limited because we think oh this is all i deserve this is how much is enough more than that i can't handle more than this i can't handle uh, or you keep wishing for it but you don't feel ready for it so improving your capacity to receive is one of the most amazing things you will do for yourself and perhaps for others because they'll get inspired from you so uh, to open up your capacity to receive number one thing you have to work on is work on your sacral chakra because uh, guilt is the blockage of sacral chakra and guilt is one of the one of one of one of the really big villains when it comes to uh, receiving because we keep feeling bad about bad about th taking things that we don't feel we deserve apart from that other areas where we have to like work on is fear fear is going to be there with everything that you ever want to create in your life so you have to open up open up your capacity to receive and feel that you can handle it 
so uh, all these things are like covered uh, more or less when i do the seven week program uh, and uh, i am going to like uh, work with each of these concepts so there are concepts of receiving there are concepts of uh, transmutation where you convert uh, heavy and en heavy energies into light there are concepts of uh, self love self worth there are concepts of intuition uh, all of that is like taken into consideration as i'm going to uh, work on uh, on the seven week program um, one of the things you can already start uh, to 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 want to receive is become uh, completely without rules when it comes to getting something in life so uh, i am ready to receive in all ways possible in any ways that there is uh, whatever it is that you know is my object of what i'm asking for so you can even say all of life i receive i receive all of life i receive the love i receive the joy everything i receive unconditionally you can say that uh the, having less beliefs uh, limiting beliefs and point of views could be helpful to open your capacity to receive so going organically and identifying what sort of uh, uh, what sort of uh, beliefs are blocking your receiving could help sometimes it's uh, uh, our upbringing so a parent or an important figure during our growing up years who taught us uh, a certain ways about receiving and then uh, giving them love and light and uh, figuring out your own way to do it as you are on the ascension path and if you are on the ascension path you are going to let go of all the stuff that you learned in favor of all the stuff that you are going to explore so that's that any other questions anything else that you guys want to ask or discuss all right alexandra i enjoyed answering that huh. so i feel like i keep talking and talking and talking i need uh, you guys to also update me if you are with me and uh, if you have anything that you want to ask uh gina i actually answered okay one second in meditation we sometimes uh, fill the body with light and energy sometimes i start with filling the body with light and energy from feet come to heart and warmth so basically there is no there is no position as such that it has to be from down to up or up to down you can very much start from your heart also and then spread it everywhere in the body uh, one of the ways in which you can uh, you can imagine the light filling you is uh, to just ask the light to choose where it wants to start from from your body and then from there take over so maybe it will start from different places which are more open to receive uh, compared to other places and then it can move to other places uh, that could be helpful uh, becoming too warm or hot is an energy phenomena which can happen sometimes because when you are doing these exercises you are communicating with your kundalini energy again you have to go back to the talk i did on kundalini <laughs> to understand uh, if you don't know about it but yeah it has to do a lot with kundalini energy and how it starts to uh, you know communicate with you when you are doing these sessions if the heat is becoming a lot it's basically a kundalini which is starting which is trying to like awaken and activate so yeah that's that any other questions guys okay so if you have no other questions i'm going to sign off uh once again just reminding you of what i am planning uh, this was an introductory talk on the topic of uh, Uh, of uh, of a seven week long uh, workshop this workshop is all about activating your chakras uh, for especially for people who are an empath so the idea is to open cleanse and activate all your chakras 
so that uh, you become open to the gifts your psyche gifts your awareness your perception and you start to live your life fully and you start to like uh, become more of who you are the idea is to become uh, the true authentic you and celebrate that you so the whole idea is that once every week we are going to have uh, two hours uh, on zoom and on those two hours we are going to have an in-depth exploration of each of the chakras a powerful meditation of the chakra and the rest of the week is about activities that you have to do on a daily basis to take care of uh, of that certain chakra we are going to have a discussion a short discussion every week about uh, uh, which chakra is doing how and what are your experiences so that's why the zoom is two hours once every week i hope to see a lot of you i put a lot of uh, heart and soul into this program and i wish that uh, uh, a lot of like-minded people could join it and uh, could 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 do this and you uh, if somebody is uh, somebody once asked if they can just do one or two weeks and i said no that's not how i have envisioned it so you have to commit to me for seven weeks if you are joining this uh, that's all i ask and i as usual enjoy doing this so thank you so much for joining me and uh, if you wish to see me you could come see me um, online or in person all of that is available and illumination has all the ways in which we can manage that so thank you very much much love and bye bye